Now let's go ahead and combine together some of these concepts. So let's take the base 625 and we're going to raise it to the rational power, one fourth. And then we're going to go ahead and raise that to the fifth power, which I'm going to write as 5 over 1. Well, we learned previously that when we have an exponent to another exponent, well, we can just multiply those together. So we get 625 to the 1 fourth times 5 over 1 power, which is, of course, just 625 to the 5 over 4. I'm going to rewrite a similar problem that we're gonna see is actually the same number in a moment here. So 625 to the fifth power raised to the 1 fourth power. Again, I'm gonna write that five as five over one. And then we'll see that when we multiply those two things together, well, we once again get 625 to the five over four power. Well, why am I doing this? I'm doing this because equal signs work both ways. So if I had it in the reverse order, for example, 625 to the 5 fourth power, so I'm starting okay, at the end in this particular case, well, I can rewrite that just working backwards here as 625 to the 1 fourth times 5 over 1 power, which I know is the same thing as 625 to the 1 fourth to the 5 over 1 power, or five, fifth power. Well, that's great it's because I know that this piece right here is really just the fourth root of 625. And then I'm taking that fourth root and raising it to the fifth power. Again, coming back to that idea that roots tend to be easier for computation. Well, in this case, I'm just looking for what number times itself four times ends up equaling 625. Well, that turns out to be five. Again, little pro tip, if it ends in a five, it's divisible by five. Not to say that that necessarily means it was gonna be the answer to this, but that means that I know that the thing I'm raising to the fifth power is really just five. Based off of that, I can then evaluate this thing to completion because I know five to the fifth power ends up just being 3,125. All right, so this is how we can break down one of these more complex rational exponents and simplify it out to an integer, or maybe not an integer, integer value. One of the things I'll go ahead and point out is this part right here, I also could have written in reverse order. So I could have written this as 625 to the fifth power to the 1 fourth power, the reason I didn't do that is it's easier in this case to get small er and then get bigger. So what I mean by that is here I would have had to make this a huge number and then I would have taken the quarter exponent or the fourth root and taken that huge number and had to find the fourth root of it. It's much easier the way I ended up doing it where I made things smaller and then bigger. Okay. Again, if that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to you, um, all I'm saying is that if you can make something smaller before you make it bigger, that's probably gonna be easier. Again, not more correct, but easier.